Perhaps you are already familiar with a famous painting of Christ standing at the entrance of a small ivy-covered cottage, knocking at the door. At the original showing, many commented to the artist that the doorknob was missing. The artist simply smiled and replied, the, door, the house is really the human heart, and the door can only be opened from the inside. Now, painfully aware of this fact, Jesus himself must be. When Jesus was presented in the temple, Simeon prophesied that many would oppose him and he would have to suffer much. Certainly, his whole life bore that prophecy out completely. He was rejected by the leaders of his own people, rejected from his, ejected from his hometown, and eventually nailed to a cross. Yet, sadly, this rejection continues to happen today with ourselves, often a part of the crowd. Jesus frequently waits for an opportunity to come into our lives that is often crowded out, sometimes by sin, but most often because we are simply too busy to invite him in. That is undoubtedly our biggest problem. Unlike the people of his own time, we don't drive Christ out of our lives. We just don't take the time to let him in. We're too busy. We're too busy making a living, raising a family, getting through school, or just having a good time with Jesus excluded. So God has to settle for a measly hour on the weekend. Our lives are filled with pleasure, but often devoid of any real happiness. Is it any wonder that we're often discouraged and even at times depressed? Our lives are frequently like the person who is writing a letter but using a pen without ink. Or like living our lives on a treadmill, doing a lot of running but not really getting anywhere. How can we change all this? Well, at least part of the answer to that question might to be to ask ourselves what part prayer plays in our lives. How often do I really pray? I mean, besides when I'm in trouble or desperately in need of something. Spiritually, we're like the person who only sees a doctor when he's critically ill. If our lives are really going to have meaning and purpose, every day must begin and be ended with prayer, and with other prayers scattered like oases in between, precious moments taken from our daily rat race to acknowledge our complete dependence on God and to ask him for his continued help and support. Remember that famous painting, Christ standing always, every day, knocking at our hearts. But there's no knob on the outside. Our hearts are like that door. They can only be opened from the inside.